well, <laughs> this really isn't funny, but you know, I mean, you got to find humor in everything. And as y'all know, I try to have a little fun as I go, even though I know things are, are, are uh, not so good, but that's my belief. That's my opinion about this virus. And uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do me, you know, on, on some of this because I know y'all too many naysayers out there, but I want you to try something. Try social distancing, like they're saying to do, you know, and it makes total sense if, I mean, if you did that through, through anything, the flu or the cold or whatever, if you did social distancing, you know, you wouldn't be passing it to your coworker or your friend or whomever. I know, Sarge, you're fixing to get a kolache. You are, you're gonna get a piece of sausage. Hang on, buddy. But anyhow, as I'm looking, this old car here pulls up. And as you can see there, there's his face mask. And uh, probably not gonna help so much. You know, cause uh, it, it, you know, like if everybody wore a face mask, me and the person I'm talking to, yeah, that does help. That's proven. Look at everything around you. Look at other countries that are doing it. But anyway, we don't have enough masks to even help our own health care providers who need it, who need it worse. But anyway, try you some social distancing and see how that goes for you. You know, because I'm already kind of a, you know, a space issue person. Anybody that knows me will tell you that. I really don't want people on top of me. I don't do elbow to ass, you know. But so I'm at the store, my little local store that I always go to, you know, to get my gas and my whatnots. And, uh, you know, I'm in the line. There's two guys ahead of me. And, you know, I'm standing back, you know, four foot. Well, here comes more people in. They cut in between me and the, the four foot barrier that I created walking by. And I'm, I'm like, well, that's not going to work. People are just going to walk through right on top of me. So the people behind me started inching closer and closer, or they were trying to cut in front of me. I said, excuse me, I'm just trying to practice my my space, you know, my, I'm trying to create the barrier that they're telling us to do. Well, everybody in that line looked at me like I was absolutely crazy. I said, so y'all got to get up off me. You know, I'm, try I'm trying to help society here. And I'm just like looking up, they're looking at me like, what are you talking about? What's going on? Why, why are you not trying to be close to us? <laughs> But I'm going to tell you now, social distancing isn't going to work. So anyway, I proceed on out the door, and I'm trying not to touch nothing. You know, I'm practicing here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to put my hands on the door handles and all that. I'm using my shoulder, my ass, and everything else, you know, to get in and out of doors. Or taking my sleeve and putting it over my hand. But anyway, I go out to the gas pump. I'm out there, you know, I put the thing in, and I'll go ahead and get my sanitizer out. You know, as my gas is pumping, go ahead and wash my hands down because I just touched that nasty old pump. Now, we all know people are not going to be clean. And the reason so is I sat there and watched a man pick at his nose, you know, and he grabbed a pump and hung it up. I watched another man walk down through there, spit a humongous loogie, as a lady back behind him is playing on her phone and she walks right through it. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God, God, Mother Nature, all higher beings and superpowers out there, whatever, help us. We're not going to get through this pandemic like this because people, people ain't going to, they not going to do it. They not going to do no social distancing. They not going to have no hot, clean hygiene. No. Standing in line, some guys, you know, he's wiping his mouth, scratching his nuts. Woo! We in trouble. Sarge, we in trouble, ain't we? And I could go on and on about this whole social distancing and how it's not going to work in our country during the pandemic. No. Ain't gonna happen. Then I watched a wonderful news report where, you know, they pulled out the paperwork from CDC. You know what got tested yesterday, according to the CDC? Zero by the CDC. Yeah, zero. And only eight tested at the private lab. What? What's really going on there? 
Boy, y'all people need to get together again. Unite. Unite. Act like you love one another and unite. You know, this isn't a political thing. This is a pandemic. It's not a hurricane that comes through, blows over, causes, you know, creates havoc, causes damage, and, and just a little loss of life. You know? Which any loss of life is too much. We're not going to make it, people. We're not going to make it like this if everybody just wants to walk around and be ignorant. I'm choosing not to be ignorant. I really am. I'm trying to educate myself. Been educating myself for two months on this. Been following everything. Been following them really, really smart doctors. Been following all the mathematician, scientist people. You know, they're sitting there doing the numbers and they'll tell you the U.S. number is not correct. It's tenfold. Because we're not testing, people. But anyway, that's enough about that. I was trying to have a little humor about it. Sarge and I realized we in trouble. Poor old Sarge, I don't know what's going to happen if something happens to me. That is a huge concern to me because he's my, he's, he's, he's my ride or die over there. You know what I'm saying? I got to be healthy just for him. And, and anybody, yeah. oh, what are we going to do? Oh, there's another man spitting a loogie. Good job, sir. Good job. That's what I'm talking about, America. That's what I'm talking about. As Paul Harvey would say, wake up, America. <laughs> oh, God.